Let's see two ways to create a whiteboard using the browser. After signing in, go to the left side menu and click on Whiteboard here. Now on the right side, you can see this menu. All whiteboards, my whiteboards, shared with me, starred, and trash. To create a new whiteboard, click on All Whiteboards here. Now you have two options. One, if you have never created a whiteboard before, click on the New Whiteboard button here. Two, if you have created a whiteboard before, click on the New button here. Now using the app, go to the main menu and you will see the whiteboard icon here. When you click it, you will see in the left menu the same options we just described in the first method. Click on All Whiteboards. Choose the best option for you. New Whiteboard if you have not created one before or if you have, choose New in the upper right corner here. Now let's see how to share a whiteboard. When you are in your whiteboard, you will see the Share button in the upper right corner here. A new window is open where you can type the emails of people with whom you want to share. You can also assign the role of the invited person as editor, commenter, or viewer only. I will select editor. Now click on the send button here. Another way to share it is by clicking on the copy link button here. The link is copied and you can paste it and send it in an email or messaging app. In this example, I will send it via email. When the person opens the email, they will be redirected to the whiteboard in Zoom. Also, you can share a whiteboard while you are in a Zoom meeting. Go to the bottom menu and click on the whiteboard icon here. A new window opens where you can see the option of a new whiteboard. Also, you will see any whiteboard you have created previously. In the bottom section, you can indicate who has permission to access the whiteboard and determine the kind of permission they will have as editor or viewer only. Once you have selected one option, click on the Open and Collaborate button here. That's it! We believe this new tool in Zoom will make your teaching skill more effective. Why not try it and let us know what you think? Burn to Learn is working to help you understand the changes in technology as they happen. Stay in the know. Subscribe today.